Okay, we're live. Hello, hello. And today we are talking about chakras five and six. I'm Linda Babulek, and I'm dedicated to sharing wisdom teachings to bring zest to today's woman, today's executive woman, entrepreneurial woman. And today we're going to talk about chakras five and six. Now we did some videos already on all of the chakras and what you need to support them, the stones, the essential oils. And now we're deep diving into the chakras. And this is chakra number five. It's at the throat. And I'm going to read an affirmation to go with it uh, from my book. Before that, the throat, think about it. It's all your voice, what's coming out of it. And it's, that's the way we live. We breathe in and out. And the throat is right there for us in that beautiful blue color. Now, let me tell you a little story. When I went on a spiritual shamanic journey to Bolivia and Peru, my teacher said to me, she said, you know, Linda, you're going to have impact. I was all proud. I remember it like it was yesterday, sitting at the top of the mountain in Cusco with the uh, all the ruins and everything. Oh, so beautiful. And uh, I was so impressed. She's going to have impact. Really? And she says, you got to decide what it's going to be. And that's when I realized that my voice, my actions, and what I do has impact on other people. And you're seeing it when you throw a rock in the water, it ripples out seven times and it ripples back too. Whatever we put out there comes back to us tenfold. And I've been seeing a lot of things on social media that is quite upsetting because it's unnecessary. When you put something out or when you say something within earshot of someone else, and we've all heard it, we've probably all done it, it has an effect on other people. It has a vibrational effect that affects the whole planet. We know that. The research tells us that more and more, that we want to be really cognizant of what we say and what we do. And sometimes we're in pain and we're unhappy. And yet we spread that unhappiness around. And that's not worthy of us. When you think about it, before you say something or post something or get into an argument with someone, think of your effect. Is that coming from your higher self? Or is that coming from the needy, wounded, abandoned child? We want to come from our higher self, that special place of vibration. So the blue chakra right here, it um, goes clockwise, uh, counterclockwise rather, counterclockwise is the spin. And um, I'm going to read you the piece from the fifth chakra. And you can do this along with me. I put my hand gently on my throat and I imagine a beautiful blue spiraling sphere guiding my communication. I speak openly and honestly. My words to myself and others are kind, truthful, and supportive. Breathe in the calm energy and exhale any negative association. And you could feel the vibration in your throat as you speak. So it's very important that we put out good vibrations out there. After my teacher told me that, I was much more careful about what I said. I thought it was so funny because I, I could be sarcastic and witty, but it was often at other people's expense. I don't do that anymore. And now our sixth chakra is up here and it's indigo. And it's right between the brows. It spins clockwise. And that's for gaining that vision through the third eye. 
So the saying for this one, the affirmation, is I massage the space between my eyes. See, it's just a little bit above the eyebrow line here. As I listen for insights and intuition to be downloaded. Breathe the energy in of being connected to everyone and everything. Exhale any illusions that are blocking the flow and growth. Indigo color, indigo light may appear. To open your mind's eye and reach a higher state of consciousness, saying um, um, like that may be soothing and helpful. And there's a whole piece that I quote Joseph Campbell um, when he was in conversation with Bill Moyers um, called The Power of Myth. And he talks a great deal. It's a long quote that I have permission to reprint in my book about saying "Om." It's a word that represents to our ears that sound of the energy of the universe of which all things are manifestations. So there we go. That's on page 152 and 153. Now to activate that third eye, you can light a candle and stare at the flame. And then when you close your eyes, see what happens. You'll be able to still see that flame, just totally focus. I remember years ago when the Wii game came out, maybe 20 years ago, and they used to have a flame flicker, flickering. And because of the game, it could tell you if you had blinked or not. And the whole aim was to see how long can you sit still and just be still looking at the candle. So practice that and keep an eye out for more of the wisdom teachings. We're going to be talking about trauma and memories, how to handle that, uh, talking about tests and challenges, how to handle that. It's all building up, isn't it? Then, of course, we still have the seven secrets of women with zest. And we're going to be talking about that. We're going to talk about emotional masks also. Lots of topics to talk about. So join me again right here. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.